Sports. On deck, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Kansas City Chiefs and the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, players, and fans alike in for a battle with the elements tonight as EA Sports is at snowy Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm Brandon Gunn. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me in cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway in Foxborough. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They're led out by their big-bodied electric quarterback, Cam Newton. Cam has all the skills that you're looking for, the arm that can do everything, the ability to run hard to bring down because of his size. But the joy that he plays the game, I think that's his stock and trade. That's his calling card. That's what sets him apart from other players. Ready? Look at it. Check. 53 is mine. Rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. Tight dog. Now a first down throw for Newton. And incomplete to open things up. Ben Watson was the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one. And LeGarrette Blunt, the featured back. The big knock on him coming out of college was his lack of speed. But it's definitely not his lack of power. He runs right through opposing tacklers and sets things up big for his offense. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again. Newton. And his throw here is incomplete. Ben Watson was the intended target, the tight end. And it's third down. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tyron Matthews' instincts as a defensive back, I believe, are second to none. And that allows him to play all over the secondary. He can line up as an outside corner inside in the slot and that's difficult to do because you get so much traffic in there and then of course they can also move him back as a safety anywhere you put him though you know he's going to end up around the football so now an early third and ten here on their opening drive out of the gun newton and that's complete it's watson and he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 14 yards is the pickup there and a New England first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Right here, right here. Now a first carry for LeGarrette Blunt. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Throwing on second down, Newton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, 
he's not even going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 48-yard line. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Ready? Ready? On the draw, Blunt, and tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Watch the run. Watch the run. Now Blunt. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. On first down, Newton. That's caught by the tight end, Lacoste. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Mike 180, Mike 5-4. You, you must be getting tired of seeing me. First down, here's White. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. I'm here all day. They'll run it here with Blow. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. How about this opening drive? Play number 12 now. This is third down. Now Newton. As a man. Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter. And they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them but they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive, maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. The point after, no gimme in the snow, but it's up and good, and it's now a 7-0 game. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here are the Chiefs now under their veteran head coach, Andy Reid. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Yo, yo! 
Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They go play action. Now Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's a second and two now from the 33. We own it. We own it. Throwing quickly, Mahomes gets this out to Watkins. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. This is the offense we're going to see coming up in this one, and Travis Kelsey will be key. What a tremendous weapon he is, especially in the red zone. Knows how to find the end zone when running his routes. Now Mahomes on the bootleg. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll be fourth down. Fourth down on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep for the Patriots, Gunnar Olszewski. There we go. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. the first down as they begin the drive and thus far the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit they've looked good so far in the first half they certainly have and think back to our meeting with the head coach and we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game didn't we we said hey have you prepared for this and he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions the wet ball drills things of that nature he said i don't think it's gonna slow us down much we tend to handle it pretty well and he's been right First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now a carry for Blunt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, here's Newton. Looking downfield for Godwin. Now a clash of bodies here and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. So it's third and long, and you know this is going to be a pass. So defensively, they're bringing an extra defensive back and just blanking the field. And this is an ill-advised throw right here as it winds up being picked off easily. the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic. 
meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. They begin the drive with Williams. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. From the 45 on second down, Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. First down, Mahomes. He finds Robinson. Give him a couple on the catch. It's second and eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Mahomes going to throw. They complete it to Hill. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 31-yard line. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Williams and just no chance of turning the corner he can only get back to the line of scrimmage second and ten coming up two minutes on the clock second quarter seven nothing ball game A reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey, and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Second down pass play got him eight yards. Now they've got a third and a couple remaining. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So chalk that down as an eight play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. to the field goal. Here's Butker to kick it away. This is taken at his four. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Getting set to go again here. Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. 
But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. So a challenge review. coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes of the half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision because they do have the final call now. After review of the play, partner, they less than two minutes ago in the game, which means that this challenge was initiated by the fellows in New York. And if you're the coach, you're thinking, thank you, New York. Hey, that QB's trash. Let's go. What is it? Newton on first down. Caught by the tight end, Watson. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Back to throw, Newton. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. Let's go. Let's do this. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. And now here comes Kansas City. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. You Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes gets this one to Hill. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Yellow. 
Mahomes will bring him up first and 10. And he's now 10 of 10, throwing the ball here to start the game. Off the draw, here's Williams. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Williams. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Throwing is Mahomes on third, and he checks this one down to Williams. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first, now this from 43. And Butker able to put this one through. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? <laughs> you're just feeling it. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon as we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. This snow front that has socked much of the East Coast not going away as we are back to it in the second half. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up 
and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They start the second half here with Williams, and he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. So on the big tight end, hold it. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. He's checking, he's checking. Following the penalty, it's Williams. That's a gain of six on the first down run. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Throwing on second and 14, Mahomes. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. And that right there, his first incompletion of the game, pretty remarkable. So let's start talking about all-time records because with that incompletion, maybe over a two-game sequence or maybe starts a new streak now because Ryan Tannehill, over two games, hit 25 straight. Now, the incompletion, we're, we're taking this record out of play. But Mark Brunel, when he's with Washington, 22 straight completions to start a game. This guy's on fire. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. Used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. In this weather, any big play in the passing game, that's, that's just a bonus, right? It certainly is, but oftentimes offenses think in clement weather plays to their advantage because you know where you're going on offense. Defenders have to react, and they often slip. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Mahomes to throw once more. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. So a decent game, Still but all for not on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. They'll run it with Williams. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minks, had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Mahomes throwing complete there to Robinson. They get 16 out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. It's Mahomes. 
And it's complete to Kelsey. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Watkins alone on the left side. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Demarcus Robinson there to make the grab. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, it, it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line but in this case the offense figured it out now after the touchdown here's Butker on to kick it away this is fielded a couple yards deep and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30 yard line So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. So first and 10 now from the 30. Check, 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 check. Check, check. There's Newton. Complaint to Watson, the tight end. They get just two out of it there, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. And the ball ends up out of bounds, so it'll be a loss on the play. Edelman, the intended receiver that time, but now it's third down. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Here's Newton. Looking downfield for Godwin. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. It's your first drive of the second half. You're down on the scoreboard. Maybe you just say to yourself, let's take a shot, see if we can shake them up. And boy, they hit that one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Here's Blunt. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the 35-yard line. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. That's 
And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second down, Newton. He's got Lacoste, his tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the short catch and flip the down marker back to one. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. And now he's going to use his legs. And an alley to run. Turns out to be a great idea to tuck that one. Good for 24 yards. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score. As they, under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Emmanuel Agba just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. That I'm struggling to understand a little bit. That close to the goal line, first down, run the football. If you want to throw it, throw some play action on second down. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Now it's Newton. Completes it to Blonde. They stop short. Down at the 1. Had the great move, but couldn't get it all the way home. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. They'll go to Blunt, try and pound it in. And Blunt will not get there. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal. I know this is your spot, partner, so forgive me for jumping in, but there's no decision right here. They have to go for it in this situation. They're down on the scoreboard. How many other opportunities are you going to get? Yeah, I'm with you. Fourth quarter, like you said, down on the scoreboard. And remember here, a field goal virtually does them no good. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They snap it to Newton. As a man, and it's Edelman for the Patriot touchdown. Julian Edelman. His second touchdown of the night as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down and, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Extra point try for Goskowski. And 
no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the 29, Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. That gets him the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now Mahomes. It's Williams on the catch. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Watch the run, watch the run. Out of the pistol, here's Williams. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Again, it's Williams. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And that one blown up quickly as he's gonna be stopped before he could even get started. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back, those are the ones you focus on and want to take away. And they've done that pretty successfully in this game. On second down. It's Williams. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. 
All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something when you crowd the line of scrimmage, if they do pop one, it's going to go a long Yeah, as I was say, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. Seventh play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time, he might actually pop one of these runs. But bottom line is, he takes care of the ball well for them, so they'll keep handing it to him. And he nailed it. It's good. Through the snowflakes, he finds a way to get it to go. And they'll be celebrating in the power and light district. The Chiefs have won the football game. Well, a little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Foxborough, good night, everybody.